I love him. I cannot make any man fall in love with me. I cannot more than one person. Thank you. Let me try Mark Mars again. Come on down. And that'll be followed by Donald Couchman and Eric Schultz. I said, welcome. Hello, the name is Mark Sargent. That's what oh. I wrong. Oh. Now that's gonna be a tough act to follow, but I'll do my best. Oh. Okay, I just wanted to draw, uh, council members, thank you for listening. I want to draw the public's attention to what may be an extremely egregious example of malfeasance, and just to help illustrate the gravity of the situation, imagine if the federal government gave $19.5 billion to Hollywood. I think we'd all be pretty upset by this. Well, there is a growing body of evidence that the International Space Station is not in outer space, but it's being filmed in a desalinated pool down here on Earth, and it's being falsely misrepresented. And uh, this started with this phenomenon known as bubbles in space. If you search for it, you'll see many of these so-called spacewalks, which have been falsely misrepresented as live, as has been exposed many times on Facebook when they do their live ISS feeds, bubbles out in space. Well, there's not supposed to be water up there. And it is known that the astronauts do train in these big underwater tanks. And so this body of evidence, and it's not just bubbles in space, there are harnesses or green screens, evidence of flights that are actually on parabolic flights, not in space. And if this is true, it's a big deal, because that's a lot of money that could be used for our own infrastructure or schools, whatever. So I'm drawing the attention to it because I think it's something that deserves to be looked at. Uh, because if it's true, these bubbles in space might represent the smoking gun in probably the biggest hoax since uh, global warming. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you. Thanks for coming down. Mr. Couchman, followed by Eric Schultz, followed by Mike Alvarez. Welcome. Good evening, counselors. My name is Donald Couchman, and I am simultaneously the newest and oldest member of the Open Space Advisory Board. We help oversee 29,000 acres of open space land. One of our areas of responsibility is, under a joint powers agreement, the major portion of the Petro Petroglyph National Monument. This facility has no equal anywhere in the United States. The monument is currently under continued aggressive destructive attack. There are at least 